Hello and happy Thursday. Um, just in advance, I recorded this before leaving. Um, yesterday, Wednesday, October 19th was my last day. But you still get me in this uh, semi-live class. Today your live class um, points are going to be um, watching this video. Um, I'm going to read the um, the reading passage with you guys now, um, kind of in a live or recorded live version. And then you're going to answer two questions. The first question is, why do you think many Americans supported the Cuban rebels in efforts um, in their efforts against Spain? And number two, should the United States have gone to war over the destruction of Maine? Why or not? Why or why not? How else might this situation have been handled? So let's read the article. The title of the article is Spanish American War Beginnings. In the mid 1890s, there were serious social, economic, and political problems on the neighboring islands of Cuba. Cuban rebels were attempting to free Cuba from Spanish control, which dated back to the late 1400s. As Cuba lies only 90 miles from the tip of Florida, the United States has always taken a strong interest in the events happening there. At that time, many Americans sympathized with the efforts of the Cubans. Also, many had invested heavily in the Cuban sugar industry. In 1896, the Spanish government attempted to put an end to the rebel cause. General Valerano Whaler was sent to crush the rebellion. Whaler destroyed sugar plantations and built prison camps for Cubans in rebel-held areas. News of the mistreatment of the Cubans came to America. Stories were told of hundreds of thousands captured Cubans starving to death in Spanish camps. The Akrotiles were given much coverage in the American press, and in some cases, reports were grossly exaggerated, meaning they went overboard in explaining the situations. Although many Americans were prepared to support the Cubans in their move for independence, President McKinley took a cautious stance. He had hoped that the situation would resolve in the near future, but a series of events made a simple answer impossible. One highly publicized event was the publishing of a letter that was interpreted in route, um, I'm sorry, that was intercepted in route to a post office in Havana, Cuba, written by a Spanish diplomat stationed in Washington. The letter insulted McKinley and referred to him as a weakling and a and a crude and a crowd pleaser. The derogatory tone of the letter answered many Amer angered many Americans. More serious in nature, a second event, event involved the deaths of American sailors. On the night of February 15, 1898, an explosion ripped through the hull of the Maine, an American vessel docked in the Havana Harbor. The ship had been sent to protect Americans on the island. No one was ever to know for who or what had caused the explosion in which more than 250 Americans lost their lives. The tragedy stirred the American spirit and many blamed the Spaniards. Public pressure finally forced McKinley to take action. On April 11th, the president went before Congress to request a declaration of war against Spain. Two weeks later, on April 25th, the United States declared war against the old colonial power with the rally cry, remember the Maine. And many Americans eagerly joined the fight. Take a minute and think about the questions that we just reviewed. 
Why do you think many Americans supported the Cuban rebels in their efforts against Spain? And should the United States have gone to war over the destruction of the Maine? Why or why not? How else might the situation have been handled? This is a reading comprehension lesson that you guys are going to be doing today. So take your time and if you need to, rewatch the lesson. I hope you all have a great day and enjoy.